Today I'm going to teach you how to create a solarized image using curves in Photoshop. Solarization is a phenomenon in photography in which the image recorded on a negative or on a photographic print is wholly or partially reversed in tone. To create a solarized image in the darkroom, you need to expose your photo paper twice. The first time, you would expose your photo paper like you normally do after doing a series of test strips. Then you would run it only through the developer. At that point, you would take the print out of the chemicals and expose it in the enlarger a second time. After that second exposure, you return your print to the developer and run it all the way through the chemicals. When it's in the developer the second time, you start to notice the shadow areas become lighter and metallic-y. This is the solarization effect. Since we don't have our darkroom, I can't teach you in the darkroom. So today I'm going to teach you how to do this digitally using curves in Photoshop. All right, so let's get into the actual editing of an image to solarize it. So here I have an image, a black and white image, and I'm going to create an adjustment layer for curves. And you're gonna see your histogram and you're gonna see the 45 degree angle line running through the graph. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shadow point and I'm going to lighten it. Okay, and you're like, what's going on? Trust me, this is where the solarization starts to happen. So moving a little bit to the right, more in the darker midtones, I'm going to grab a point and I'm just going to start to bring it down. And then I'm going to mess around with another point right here just to bring it up. And a lot of this is really, to be perfectly honest, trial and error. What I'm looking for is kind of a metallic-y looking sheen. Like you'll see it right there in that shadow area. And I can keep messing around, dragging in my mid-tones a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, until I kind of get an aesthetic that I like. If I toggle off before and then on, I have a solarized image. Let's try this again with another image that's a little bit tightly cropped in. What I'm gonna do is show you just some curves that I was already kind of playing with. So I'm gonna toggle those on, and that's my solarization. I'm gonna to toggle it off. And I'll create a new layer of curves just to show you how I got that. So what I did again is I lightened my shadows I'm going to bring down the darker mid-tones a little bit. I got a lot of contrast there. I think I'll bring my highlights down. Some tutorials will say, don't mess with the highlights, like whatever. Let's try it out. All right. So moment to moment. Yeah, sure, that looks cool. Let's toggle back on the other one. I like this one a little bit more because the highlights are a little softer. So as you'll see, like day to day, hour to hour, your aesthetic might change. The idea though is that we're getting this really kind of cool metallic -y look around the edges of the image. You might get a little crisp black outline. And this is something that we actually were going to do in the darkroom. So I want to show you what it would look like 
to do solarization on a color photo. And I've already created my curves. So I'm going to just show that to you. And you'll see that we get some really cool metallic y edges. And I always love solarization on color images because there's so much color in this metallic edge that's created by the solarization process. But when you do solarization in color images that are digital, it can sometimes look a little too digital, a little too fake. So what I would probably do is throw a hue saturation layer onto this image. And I might bring the saturation down a bit. And what that's going to do is take some of those really like acrid orange, red orange tones out of her skin. And then what I might also do is do a color balance layer as well. And I might just say there are these red kind of outlines around her face. So I might want to take the red and cyan and just push a little cyan into it. And I might want to say in the highlights specifically, let's add a little bit of yellow into it. Or maybe I want to say in the midtones, let's push a little magenta into the midtones and maybe a little bit more blue into the shadows. This is all honestly just my own personal preference to push this solarization further. Let's toggle on and off just to see. That is without the color balance. I added some more blue. She almost looks like an ink graphic novel character. Okay, I like that coolness that was shifted because of the color balance layer. Let's turn off the hue set and the color balance layer. That was just doing the curves on the color. Let's slowly add back color balance without the hue set. And then let's put the hue set back in. I'm actually really pleased with this. Now another thing I can do is throw in a black and white layer. And what that's gonna do is create the solarization with black and white. I can get rid of that and have a color image or add it and have a black and white solarized image. Either way, we're just messing around and having fun with this technique.